Joining us this morning is American author of the New York Times best-selling novel, Hush Hush, Becca Fitzpatrick. Good morning and welcome to Daybreak. Good morning, thank you. And here's your book, Hush Hush. Amazing. Perfect. Great cover. Thank you. <laughs> and tell us more about, tell us about this novel. Um, Hush Hush follows the life of a teenage girl named Nora who falls in love with a not-so-ordinary boy named Patch. Not-so-ordinary boy, exactly, named Patch. And what is not so ordinary about Patch? <laughs> um, Patch is, well, he's a fallen angel, um, so he's the quintessential bad boy. He's dark and mysterious and dangerous. Okay, and what made you think about writing about a fallen angel? Are you, do you have a fascination for, you know, unworldly things? Um, you know, when it came to Patch's character, I knew he was this bad boy, and fallen angels were the original bad boys. They were kicked out of heaven for misbehaving, so it seemed like a perfect fit for his character. Okay, and tell us more about Patch. And I know that Nora and Patch have, um, they face unusual challenges in their relationship. So what are these? Can you tell us more about that? Yes. Well, Nora belongs to the Nephilim race, and Patch is a fallen angel. And these two races are constantly at war, battling with each other. Um, fallen angels, they can't feel the way that humans do, and so they possess Nephilim bodies um, for a certain point during the year. So they are. They're, they're constantly at war. OK. And um, I know that Nora is sort of, she, can you tell us about her character? I know that she falls in love with him, but sort of doesn't trust him in a way because she, I think, was told in the beginning of the story that she might be harmed or hurt by Patch, the person she loves. So how does this um, unravel throughout the book? Um, you know, it does. There's this pendulum constantly swinging between trust and distrust with Nora. You know, the minute she starts falling for Patch and hanging out with him, some really terrifying events happen her, in her life. And she's, you know, beginning to wonder, are these caused because of Patch? Is it, you know, why is he in my life? Um, and she does have a lot of doubts with his character. And the reader does too, never knowing if he's good or if he really is a bad guy. Right, and of course we're not going to disclose what happens in the end, but it is very exciting. Now also there are other characters in the book because there is some twists and turns and there's a bit of humor as well. There are other characters like V. Can you tell us more about the other characters? Sure. V is Nora's best friend and she is the, the comic relief. She's funny and she's obnoxious and gets Nora to do things that um, Nora probably shouldn't do. And um, yeah, she really adds a, a good flavor to the book. Okay. And I know that this is um, a huge success in the U.S. Why do you think it made um, this book became a big success? You know, I think that readers who read the book initially fell in love with the characters and shared it with their friends, and it, it came down to word of mouth. Um, you know how teenagers are. They find something they love, and they want to share it with their friends, and then you're in the know if you know about the book and, and can talk about it. Right, and this is your first um, debut. This is your debut novel, which was published in 2009. And I know that there were three others that followed this because this is the first of a series. Correct. So what made you think of writing a book um, about the fallen angel and, you know, the whole story, this exciting plot about um, that's in this book, Hush Hush? Well, when I was writing the books, I was also rereading the journals that I kept when I was a teenager. And so I was drawing on pieces from my own life and putting them into the books. And, you know, I, I think I made it a series because I was enjoying myself so much and having so much fun hanging out with these characters that I didn't want it to stop. Oh, that's interesting. So it was from, from way back. Did you always know that you wanted to write a book way back when you were a teenager? Um, I didn't. I really enjoyed writing, but it wasn't until my husband um, surprised me on my 24th birthday by enrolling me in a writing class that I started writing Hush Hush. Did you know that this was going to be uh, the you know, New York Times bestselling book? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think anyone can anticipate that. Um, I was just trying, you know, to write a book and complete that and send it out to publishers. That was my only goal at that point. Okay, and tell us about the uh, other three books that followed Hush Hush. Um, well, the other three books in the series just continue to follow Patch and Nora's story as tensions between their races escalate um, and, and come to head in a final battle in the final book. Okay, and I know that we were talking about this earlier, that it could possibly be turned into a movie. 
Yeah, that's really exciting. The film rights have been optioned and a screenplay has been written. And so I'm hoping it goes forward with production soon. Becca, can you tell us about your new book? I know it's coming out in October. Sure, it's a romantic thriller that tells the story of 17-year-old Britt Pfeiffer who goes backpacking in the Teton Mountains of Wyoming for spring break. Um, but she is taken hostage by fugitives, two men who are up there in the mountains. And in exchange for her life, she agrees to guide them off the mountain. It is fictional, okay. um, but there are no paranormal elements okay. as there are in Hush Hush. Um, but there are some similarities in the fact that it's a thriller and mm -hmm. there's this romantic tension between a girl and a guy that she's not sure she can trust, one of the fugitives. Okay, and this is coming out in October, mm -hmm. correct? So we have that coming out in October, lots to look forward to. Plus, right now, what's out in National Bookstore and Power Books is your book, Hush Hush, and the, the three books that follow this, which is Crescendo, Silence, and Finale. What kind of people do you think um, will the book attract? Or, you know, what do you think makes this a must-read? You know, I think that anybody who loves romance and uh, suspense will find this book, you know, a, a really good read. People who enjoy Twilight or the Mortal Instruments series, fans of those kinds of stories. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for coming in and joining us this morning, Becca. Thank you for having me. And all the best to you. You too. That was Becca Fitzpatrick, the author of New York Times bestselling fiction fantasy novel, Hush Hush.